The future Amazon delivery vans will have some perks, some features that I think a lot of us wish our cars had today. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. Uh, we're gonna, uh, actually, I'm gonna outline three three features that I think are, are really, really cool. Uh, as you know, uh, the future Amazon vans are going to be uh, created and made by uh, Rivian, at least 100,000 of them. So Rivian is an upcoming brand of, that's gonna do nothing but electric cars. They're starting with the, in, all electric pickup truck and an all electric SUV. Um, they've been around for nine years, but they've uh, unveiled their products only about a year ago. And uh, they got invested uh, by Amazon and Ford uh, over $3 billion uh, in 2019. Uh, and one of the things that they've agreed with Amazon is that they will be designing and creating uh, the delivery vans for them, um, 100,000 by 2030. Um, so that, that's that's one of the most amazing deals I've ever seen uh, created in this industry. And by the way, if you're interested in staying up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And then if you already have then the bell notification icon, so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so um, Amazon investor in Rivian, Rivian creating this awesome pickup trucks, uh, all electric SUV, uh, but also working on the vans. And we kind of knew what the van was gonna look like, but they, uh, uh, this week they released a video of what this van is going to also have on the inside and some of the features. Um, and it's, it's, it's the first time we're kind of having, having a look at it, but I think what's exciting about it is that they're really creating this uh, van for uh, uh, the future, for, of course, uh, faster deliveries. Obviously, they're going to be quieter deliveries, uh, sustainable energy, and, 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 and really everything that we want out of the future corporations in the United States and around the world. So um, they've, been, uh, they've been working on this side by side. Uh, a lot of technology, of course, from Rivian will go to Ford, will go into this vans, and we'll talk about it. But I know a lot of you guys are asking, and by the way, uh, you probably saw that, uh, that the, the part of their uh, virtual reality uh, thing right I, I mean I, I'll give I'll give them the fact that the, all of the cars on the street are uh, are Rivian but uh, what's up with the uh, with the Admiral uh, sailing school that's on the side of the bus stop I don't think people who wait for buses um, every day are kind of thinking about it you know what I should do I should learn how to sail I just I just found it odd because if you're creating a virtual reality for your for your uh, for your truck for your delivery truck I would think that you would you know, I, anyway, that's just it. Now, you, if you're asking yourselves, going like, wait a second, this is kind of a, uh, this is a new brand. I, how in the world are they going to be able to uh, make their, you know, debut their electric truck, debut their electric SUV, and then get going on the 100,000 uh, vans that they have to deliver for Amazon? Well, that's a good question. And it's exactly what I asked of their CEO, uh, RJ Scarnge. Uh, he's been on the show a couple of times, but I just caught up with him uh, during his San Francisco visit and hear what he had to say. So let's talk about Amazon. I'm excited about that order simply because uh, Amazon trucks won't be waking my, me up in the morning, yeah. you know, but uh, that's a significant order. Um, how are you guys going to balance it between making these babies and making the uh, the vans for, the, for, for Amazon? So we launched our truck and our SUV first. So the, the truck SUV ended this year and then the Amazon vehicle is September 2021. Uh, so it actually sequences in really nicely. And because the skateboards are shared, uh, so the battery, drivetrain, uh, cooling systems are really common, almost identically the same between the two, it allows us to go really fast on the Amazon program. Well, that's not a bad plan, I would say. And yes, they do have some time. They are going to market at the end of this year uh, with their all electric uh, 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 trucks and SUV. Um, there are tons of reservations already. And I think I'm, we're all ready. We're all ready to see these trucks on the road. Um, at the event where, uh, where I was talking to them, there were a lot of Rivian fans and, and they're the, they're, they love it. They absolutely love it. They don't want a Tesla. They don't want a Ford. They want a Rivian. So the, the, the community they've created around their brand is absolutely amazing. But um, let's talk about the, the, the awesome features that, you know, when, when you watch that video that Amazon created, there were a bunch of drawings on the walls, right? And I really didn't see anybody in the media kind of zoom in there and see 
what it is that they're putting together there. Obviously, it's a prototype, but I found three features that I thought were kind of fascinating. Okay, before we go over them, of course, a quick reminder that this video in its channel is sponsored by Byton, another up and coming all electric car brand. Check out their SUV called Emma. And they most importantly, don't forget to reserve it before it comes here to the United States and Europe next year. Look how fast and easy it is to do that, mainly because there is absolutely no payment required for now. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. All right, so let's get to the perks and the first one and the one that I like I think the most is the rotating screen. If you look, if you zoom, in, zoom in into those drawings, as you can see, that screen kind of iPad looking one can rotate and be vertical or horizontal. And I'm also going to assume that this is something you can maybe take with you. I absolutely love this idea. The, the conversation about vertical versus horizontal screen has been in this community for a while, especially because, you know, the Model 3, Tesla Model 3 has a a uh, horizontal screen right like this and obviously the model s and model x have a vertical screen like this and and this is where a lot of debate comes from i personally like the vertical one a lot of people ha uh, have horizontal there are rumors that uh, tesla will actually put the horizontal screen a big horizontal screen in model s and model x i think it's going to be a mistake but there is an uh, there is an example right now there is a manufacturer out there uh, uh that's only manufactures and sells cars in china uh biadi uh, or byd as some people call it uh they have this thing right here the screen that actually can rotate vertical and horizontal uh, basically depending on uh where you touch the apps and 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 you can force it into a certain position i absolutely love it unfortunately again this is not the car that's available in the united states i really really wish they would come uh here and start selling their cars they only sell all electric uh, buses and i just did a recent video about their uh, all electric buses that they make here uh, in California. Check it out. I was able to walk through the entire conveyor belt. So that was pretty cool. So I love this feature a lot, but there is another feature that a lot of people, especially in small, in big cities with small cars would absolutely love. And this is this, remember this shot, uh, the screen from the video, as you can see, there are three parts to the bumper and you can take them out and back where uh, where you can just do it yourself uh, i'm sure all of you guys are watching it and let me know let me know in the comment section if you have never had to have your bumper replaced or repaint it uh, because i think all of us experience that again if you're if you're in a big city and you're parking all the time people people will always ding your car from every single spot but the bumper usually gets most of the views so this bumper actually can be taken off and, and, and you can get a different part of the bumper, I'm assuming, and then you can put it back on yourself. I absolutely love it. This obviously will save money. Um, this is something that people can do. And in the future, we'll probably be able to 3D print those parts as well. I absolutely love it. Uh, again, I, I'm super jealous. I wish my car had it. But let's move on to the third and last one. And this is a configurable space. As you can see, this is one of the drawings that we, we, we saw uh, there in the background. Look at the right part of the space. Uh, here are some of the other drawings that you can see from the space and you can see that it's kind of a, a open storage space uh, that could be you know longer and shorter. So I absolutely love that. And uh, there's even some movable parts as you can see with those uh, uh, red arrows going up and down where you can actually uh, bring it up and down. And I'm assuming some of them are, could be drawers. Um, now, again, I know all of this is a prototypes, but um, this is something that I hear more and more and more as I go to different car shows and, and, and I hear these designers and, and engineers that talk about what the cars are going to be in the future. It's all about configurable space, especially as cars are going to be able to drive themselves. We'll have more time to spend in the space and therefore we will want to configure the space to whatever it is that we do, whether we are going to be working there on a laptop as a, as a, as a businessman and then the environment is going to be very different, or you're going to be using a car with your kids and your cats and your dogs and so forth, then you configure a car completely differently. This is sort of what is going to be happening with them with the utility uh, in industrial cars, because, you know, like, for example, in this case, obviously uh, delivering packages, making sure keeping track of it. And by the way, another feature that that uh, they're also claiming that uh, a, a lot of the commands, instead of using these iPads and so forth, a lot of commands, uh, the driver will be able to um, actually execute versus um, uh, Amazon Echo that's going to be built into the car, have an expanded version of all of the commands, and it will make it much easier and faster uh, for the for the driver uh, to 
uh, to deliver your packages. There's also a bunch of safety features where they'll be tracking the uh, the, 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 the drivers so they're not falling asleep or they're distracted. Um, they will have a lot of safety features for the outside sensors and so forth. This is really going to be a car that I would just want to have for myself. Uh, let me know in the comment section which one of these features is your favorite, which one you would wish you have it uh, right now in your car. Meanwhile, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons. William, thank you so much for becoming one of my uh, Patreons. I do this every day, including weekends and holidays and my birthday, uh, uh, for you guys to be up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars. And the reason I do it is because of you, my Patreons and my sponsors like Byton and Evanex and so forth. Uh, so, and, uh, when you contribute $5 or more a month on Patreon, you get to watch all of this live. So you're the first ones to watch this videos and get the news. So William, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are watching me on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe because once again, we'll deliver it to you daily. And of course, don't forget to click the bell notification icon. That way you will be reminded every day or whenever you wish. All right. So I am looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.